Yo, what's up guys? You guys are going to be watching some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. It's either a 51 and 7 game or something like that. It's probably going to be the 51 and 7 game that I hit on um I forgot the name of the map. I really don't know. I'm looking at a picture of it right now. I forgot the name of it. Um anyway, guys, it's uh I don't know, whatever. It's a game of domination and I went 51 and 7. It's really really good gameplay. Uh so I was just thinking about these things that creeped me out whenever I was a little kid, right? So, there was this first thing. This was, like, my first ever memory of my entire life. Like, before this point, I didn't remember anything at all that happened in my entire life. Like, the rest of my life was just nothing. Like, I, there, there was nothing before this. I was born, and this is exactly what happened. Like, the first memory ever. And it was a nightmare that I had whenever I was a little kid I think I was like four or five I'm not even sure I'd seen Snow White for the first time that day okay so I remember I was sitting in front of my little like it was a box TV you remember back in the day with the box TVs and then you had to like click the power button and it was like and it, like you would stick your head up next to the TV and all your hair with like static electricity up next to the TV you know it was all good 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 times anyway guys so I would, I watched the Snow White movie whenever I was like four or five, and usually like, I, I mean, I never had, I mean, I don't know if I never had any nightmares before this because I was like four or five, I don't remember anything before this, like I just said. My whole life before that didn't even matter at all because nothing, I didn't remember anything. My parents could have like, like, fucking like, my parents could like cut off my foot, I wouldn't have remembered it. Um, so anyway. The Snow White movie, alright, it creeped me out whenever I was, I was watching it just normal, it was just a good movie, it was a good movie, you know, it was a good little two, uh, four year old, you know, kid just having fun, hey, <laughs> get movie, okay, so I watched Snow White, and the creepy part of it was whenever that, that old, uh, the, the person who gave Snow White the apple, right, the, whenever she, like, went super old and, like, crippled and like or not crippled but like I don't know like she was like old and I guess I don't know why but I was so scared of her she was like you want an apple <laughs> and then she just eats the apple like like okay if I get if I there's a creepy old woman sitting on the side of the road hands me an apple am I gonna take it no I might take it and like throw it away I'm not gonna eat it for sure but you know this this Snow White's you know smart smart as can be just eats a whole apple and just like dies almost. I don't even remember what actually happens after she eats the apple. Do, do, I think she gets like poisoned or something, right? And then she like, I think like the prince comes and like kisses her and wakes her up or something. I don't know. That might be Sleeping Beauty. I don't even know. Anyway, I, I don't I don't remember my Disney movies at all because I was like four or five, like I said. Anyway, so guys, this was this was like I don't know. All right, it it creeped me out just watching that. Just or not? No, I mean watching it. I don't even remember being creeped out by watching it. But that night, I went to sleep, and I I lived in a bunk bed uh, until I was like eight, I think. And then we moved to this new house that I'm in right now, where I have my own room. But anyway, back whenever I was like eight and younger, most of all, like whenever I was four, there was a uh, bunk beds that I lived in. I I think I think I'm. Uh, under exaggerating about me being four because I don't think I even I think I lived in like a baby crib I don't even know how old you like move out of your baby crib or whatever so I don't I don't know anything but I remember going to sleep in my bunk bed so I might have been like older I might have been like five six I don't know anyway so I was I was sitting in my bunk bed you know and my brother was on top of the bunk bed and I was on the bottom and I'm just sleeping, you know, and then I have this nightmare. I, I'm dreaming, and I was Snow White, except I was a guy. I was a guy Snow White in the Snow White movie. And, and this old woman, like, came up to me and was like, you want an apple? And I pick it up, and I start eating it, and then, like, I, I die, like, in my dream. It was the scariest thing I've had in my, had happened in my entire life. I die in my own dream, and then I wake up. I'm like hold on, I'm not actually dead, and I was like, I was probably crying, I don't know, but it was the scariest thing that's happened to me in my entire life. Anyway, guys, that that's all about that story. Now let's go on to this next one. All right, so the only other thing that I remember that has creeped me out my entire life is Toy Story, okay? 
this movie, like, it, it's not creepy to me that as, as much anymore, but whenever it was, like, coming out, like, Toy Story 1 or Toy Story 2, I was I would watch the movies, and I would, like, see these, like, life, like, the, these toys come to life and start talking to each other while the kid was going off, like, to school and stuff. Like, if I, if I went to school, and then I came back, and all my toys were walking around talking to each other, like, plotting to kill me, I don't know what they're doing. Like... I don't even know how to explain how freaking creepy Toy Story is. This movie is so weird. Just thinking of your toys moving around and talking to each other and having adventures and stuff while you're at school and off doing other things. And then whenever you come back, they're just back like freaking ragdoll like toys. It's, it's so weird. Like, just think of like a life-size Woody just looking dead at you like as soon as you walk in your room and then you, you okay so all right all right let me back up you're you're at school all day long all right you come home it's about three four o'clock you're you're home you walk in your room you expect you know oh look i'm gonna go play with my toys you know there's like a toy story doll or woody or buzz light or whatever looking you dead in the eyes just just staring into your soul and saying like they, they they get right next to their um they get right next to your ear and they're like you're done that would be the scariest thing ever you don't know what they do and then after they say you're done they're just they, they fall back into being a toy they they don't move forever from what you know you don't know what they're doing all your entire life you try and throw the dolls away or the toys or whatever, action figures, whatever you want to call them, you try and throw them away, and then they just come back, they're just there the next day whenever you come home from school, just looking you dead in the eyes like, <sighs> seven days, and that's it, that's it, they, they just go back into being a doll again, you don't know what they're doing, it's the scariest thing, it's like, it's scaring me right now, just thinking about it and talking about it, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little like scary like, I don't know, like the things that scared me back in my past, like now I can watch Toy Story, like I watched Toy Story 3, it was a good movie, you know, I don't know if there's a Toy Story 4, but I'll probably watch it, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, do not forget to leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video, I might be doing more videos like this, like commentaries and stuff like that over some gameplays, because I got a bunch of gameplays today, I was going for some DNA bombs for a long time, uh, probably four or five hours just like, sitting there trying to go for a DNA bomb and I would always get like 20 something kills and then die it sucked so bad there's one game that I have where I went on a 40 kill streak but I was using my streaks so I could have probably only needed like one more kill then I would have had a DNA bomb but I don't know anyway like I said I hope you guys enjoyed and as always don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video